objective person here. And I'm going to tell you that the Lakers are definitely contenders. You know why they're contenders? Because there's only one team that really could give them problems. Besides last night's Sacramento game, uh, it's the Denver Nuggets. And the Denver Nuggets give them problems because they have a big man that actually could play big. And then they have a guard who can get hot at any moment and just light them up. And that what gives them problems. There's not too many other teams that post the threat of having a big man and a guard dynamic like that in the Western Conference. Um, as we see last night, the only team that could give them another problem like that would be the Sacramento Kings that's in the West. And the odds of them playing Sacramento is almost zero to none because of the seedings. You know, the seedings would definitely just have them avoiding each other. And then it'll probably have them avoiding Denver. So Denver's the only team really that I will be worried about because Denver gave them problems last year because they swept them. But it was a it was a very competitive sweep, if I may say so myself. And this team is coming back with Austin Reeves. They're coming back with D'Angelo, who's been playing phenomenal lately. He's taking pressure off LeBron. Austin taking pressure off LeBron. LeBron doesn't have to do so much. But when AD steps up and play like the top 12 player he is, and then you combine him with another top 12 player in LeBron, you have something that not any other team in the West have. There's two top 12 players on their roster. And when you have that and you go into the playoffs when the games slow down, you have a team that can compete anywhere. And LeBron has a history of being able to win a game on the road, except for last year. So he can do it again. They will be playing probably in the eighth seed. I think they'll catch the Mavericks. Um, they're a game or so behind the Mavericks, maybe two games now. But they, they could definitely catch them and get the eighth seed. They get the eighth seed, they'll probably win the playing game against whoever they play. And, and they will go from there. Um, like I say, man, the key to them has been Rui Hachimura. Rui is giving them a different versatility that they, that they, that they desperately need because you can put him on a big and then AD could do what he does best, be a help side defender. So that's something big for them also. And like I said, Rui is also shooting 40% from three. What LeBron needs, what LeBron play with. He play with a lot of people that spread the court. He drive, he kick, he kick it in them, they hit threes. Austin Reeves could shoot it well. D'Angelo could shoot it well. So they're definitely contenders. Um, they're 10 and 5 in their last 15 games. Um, they're 22 and 11 at home. Um, I like I like my chances with them. When the games slow down, there's nobody else that can beat them. You're not gonna take the Clippers. I wouldn't trust them with I wouldn't trust them with anything because they have shown time and time again. That when it's come time to put the pedal to the metal, they won't. They'll walk out, they'll walk out the game. They'll quit. They'll flat out quit. I'm not trusting Harden and way off P. That's just two people I'm not I'm not I'm not trusting them two. And then you have another person in Kawhi Leonard. I trust Kawhi, but I don't trust his knees. Who else is a contender in the West? The Pelicans, they're too young. They're not ready for the, the Lakers. The Lakers beat them every time. Um What's the other team? Um, who they just beat the other day, Rudy? Um, the young guys. Oh, Shade. Shade. Okay. Okay. OKC. Yeah, they beat, they beat OKC. Three to one. The second, second night of. A